Hey guys, I'm just going to do some quick uh, sample swatches. I placed an order with um, Venice Pens and um, I placed the order because I wanted this Vinta uh, Macopa or Malayan Apple ink, which I, I, it's like a bright fuchsia, but it has hints of green and gold in it. It's very pretty, but I did a, uh, a you could check out my, I think it's my last video or my before, I'll link the video down below where you can see where I swatched that. And while I was placing the order for that, of course, I wanted, I placed a couple of samples. Uh, the first one being this uh, Robert Oster bronze. I happen to love Robert Oster inks. And uh, this one I saw on Chris Sen's, um, on her Instagram and the chromatography and just the color shading on it was beautiful. So we're gonna see what I get here on the Tomoe River paper. And I um, generally, I'll give it a little shake, cause I don't, no, this one doesn't have any shimmer. And I swatch with uh, Princeton Chisel Blender. I'm not a fan of the Q-tip. I think it just sucks up too much ink and that waste bothers me. <laughs> and then I have some uh, water glasses over here for cleaning off in between. So let's get to the fun stuff. And I just have a shot glass here for holding up the inks because I don't have one of those fancy ink sample cup holders that you all got. Yeah, this is a, um, let's go a little heavy up here. It's like a pretty, it's supposed to be a little brown, but I really just get a lot of olive green on it. We'll check the colors more at the end after this dries. fan of anything green okay it's still wet so let's see how that looks in a few more minutes um, the next one I got is the I'm gonna butcher this Kayono Oto Nuri Bado Bido yeah I'm, I'm nope I'll list the name below <laughs> so you don't have to try to figure out what the heck I just said. Um, this is from the uh, Tag Stationery Store in Japan, and they have their own, um, I guess, their own brand of inks. And this one is supposed to be like a black, but in the color swatches online, it looked like it had hints of... Um, brown and dark blue, so I was sort of intrigued by that. It didn't seem like a very standard black color. And I'm about to sneeze, so hold on. <coughs> oh, okay, that still hurts. <clears throat> yeah, sneezing hurts. I fractured my nose, so. Yeah, sneezing is still <clears throat> a bit of a challenge. All right, right now I'm just getting a pretty jet black color. There might be a little blue shading on there, but let's see how that dries up. Um, the next one is Monteverde Capri, Capri Blue. Not Capri, it's Capri. Um, I was actually in Italy a couple of years ago, and we went swimming in the um, uh, uh, Blue Grotto, and it's a little cheesy. They, you know, take you in these little boats and you go into the the caverns, but it is absolutely spectacularly beautiful. The 
um, water in there is um, like bioluminescent and it's it's just it's so beautiful it's really really pretty and you know they have the um, uh, the men in the boat singing as you go in and you know it's cheesy and it's touristy but they let you jump out of the boat and swim in the in the grotto and it's just it's gorgeous it's really pretty and just from what I did with the um, sampling with the pen here I could see <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay time out I could see the shading and I think I'm already going to love this color. And they call this, uh, I'm, they don't call this, this has um, ITF, which is, I don't know, some ink treatment formula, which is supposed to, I don't know, help it write more smoothly. I thought it wrote smoothly with the fountain pen I was using but it you know it, I only wrote the name I didn't use it for long term just trying to make sure this gets clean <clears throat> and let's cap that and let's see what we have so far okay it's a pretty blue All right, we'll let that dry up a little bit more. Um, the next one is Kayo Ito number four, Moonlight, which um, was also from the, the tag stationery store in Japan. And this is a orange brown and the shading on it just looked really pretty in the sample. have gotten a little heavy-handed there. <clears throat> well, it's pretty. Okay, it needs more dry time. Uh, the next one I got is Diamine Terracotta <clears throat> because I love these um, warmer kind of colors and when I saw the swatches on this, this just reminds me of um, Sedona, Arizona. And I was just there again in January. And as you drive around um, the side of the mountain, as the sun starts to shift and set, the uh, red rock turns like gold and it has like ribbons of of green you can see in it it's just beautiful and this this ink when I saw the swatches just reminded me exactly of that so let's see how that <clears throat> pulls up <clears throat> need a few more minutes and the last one that I got was Colorverse Ornament Yellow and I only have one other yellow I have Diamine Golden Sands which I don't know if I have it swatched in this book oh yes I do <clears throat> all right let's try not to touch the other eggs and this one's I don't know, it looks pretty similar to the ornament yellow. All right, let's try swatching it. Stop talking. Drain off my brush. Yeah, 
this reminds me a lot of Golden Sands. <clears throat> okay, I took a minute to clean off my desk, wash my hands, and uh, let the paints dry, uh, the inks, <laughs> the inks dry a little bit, and I'll give you a close-up of what's going on here. The Robert Oster Bronze, I love. That's no surprise there. I pretty much love everything that Robert Oster does. Um, this is a really pretty olive green with slight, I see slight pink undertones here. And um, I don't know, this might be my new favorite green. That is really pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, the Kayono Oto Raven Black. Nah, I I don't know. It's not doing anything for me. It's I don't see any particularly um, different color in the shading. So. <clears throat> Just another inky black. Uh, the Monteverde um, Capri Blue, I love. This one, I will show you it compared to. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is a sample I have of the Noodlers um, Blue Whales and Crabs. And the Blue Whales and Crabs has some pretty red sheening on it, but I think I actually like the Monteverde um, Capri better. And I will also show it to you compared to, in my blues, the uh, Pilot Orochizuku Kompeki. The Kompeki is a little bit more, it's a little lighter blue and yeah, I think I actually prefer the Monteverde. But, of course, it's all personal choice. Um, the Kayo, you know, number four, the Moonlight, is a very pretty orange with really pretty shading. But when I compared it to the uh, Diamond uh, Terracotta, the Terracotta just, I think, is a more powerful um, like a, a, a deeper, <clears throat> a deeper and warmer red orange. That's just much prettier. Personal opinion. And the Colorverse Ornament Yellow. Um, yeah, it's yellow. There's some, I could see some good shading here in the uh, in the writing but I have diamine golden sands and I don't use yellow <clears throat> I, I mean I use it very rarely so do I need two yellows no and if I had to pick one um, I don't know. I think I, I just love the shimmer and the diamond golden sands. So, all right, let's go over the colors once again. Colorverse Ornament Yellow, Diamine Terracotta, Kido Ido, Number Four Moonlight. Monteverde Capri Blue, Kyo Nodo Nuri Baido. I don't know, just ask for the Raven Black. 
and Robert Osterbrons. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite of all the samples here. And um, if I didn't see it in the beginning, I purchased all of these from <clears throat> Vanessa Inks. And yeah, that's it. So that's it for this watching today. I uh, hope everybody has a great day and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.